Okay, let's discuss about membrane proteins. Membrane proteins are associated with lipid bilayer of a biological membrane. There are numerous proteins which are present in the membrane and they carry out a specific function of an organelle or of a cell or a specific function of an organism. There are basically two types of uh, proteins, membrane proteins, if broadly classified. One is integral protein and another one is peripheral protein. As far as integral proteins are concerned, they are globular in nature and they are anchored in the membrane. They are very much embedded in the membrane and they interact with the lipid bilayer of the membrane. So therefore, they establish a protein-lipid interaction. They traverse the entire bilayer of a membrane with one end of the integral protein in the exoplasmic side and one end in the cytoplasmic side. Coming to the peripheral proteins, peripheral proteins are not directly interacting with the lipid bilayer. They only interact with the integral proteins. They in fact weakly interact with the peripheral proteins and they are bound to peripheral proteins are bound to integral proteins very weakly. So therefore they can be very easily released from integral protein simply by treating with the salt solutions of high ionic strength. They do not require uh, the use of detergents for their release. So in the case of peripheral protein there is a protein protein interaction which exists. So peripheral protein is only interacting with the integral protein whereas integral proteins are interacting with both peripheral protein as well as with the lipids. Now peripheral proteins help organize the distribution of integral proteins. Say for example hormone receptor. A hormone can play a role of peripheral protein whereas a receptor can play a role of integral protein. When a hormone binds to the receptor, hormone helps the receptor to organize, get organized in the plane of the membrane. So when a peripheral protein interacts with an integral protein, the binding of the peri peripheral protein with the integral protein helps the distribution and organization of integral protein in the plane of the membrane. So a stretch of 20 amino acids in an alpha helix will be enough to traverse the entire membrane. It is possible to calculate whether a particular sequence of amino acid is consistent with the transmembrane domain. Then coming to the role of proteins, enzymes, channels, antigens, structural components, these are the different role played by membrane proteins. A membrane protein can, can play a role of receptor, it can be an ant antigen, it can play a role of um, an enzyme or channel or pump or even a membrane protein can be a structural component. So that's all about membrane proteins.